I have a very important update about the theatrical run that was originally planned for May the 6th throughout the U.S. Hey everybody, Victoria Marie here, producer director of Gray is the New Blonde, the award-winning documentary I did about the outdated views and attitudes towards women with gray hair. And today I have a very important update about the theatrical run that was originally planned for May the 6th throughout the U.S. I believe there were 18 cities. We're going to have a one night only event in all 18 cities at the same time. So it was going to be quite the event. Then, of course, March, COVID-19 hit. And initially I thought, okay, well, um, it's not going to affect us. Well, of course, <laughs> that was very naive to think that. I had no idea what was coming. No, obviously none of us did. And so uh, I then pushed it back to July 15th. Got all the theaters rescheduled, but here we are in June. And still, it does not look like the theaters are going to be open to full capacity anytime soon. I mean, I don't know what things will look like once we are back as a country in operation with bars and restaurants and uh, you know sporting events. Huge crowds go to all of those places, um, especially the sporting events, but then of course the movie theaters. You've got a great uh, movie and Grey is the New Blonde. When we premiered it here in Los Angeles in January, it was packed. The first, I wanna say five rows, had a, like a few people and there were 250 seats in total in the theater. So maybe there were 50 seats empty. I don't know, somewhere around there. There weren't many empty. And um, to that end, I tell you, I don't care if you've seen it on your phone, on your tablet, on your TV, there is nothing like seeing it on the big screen with all of your tribe with you. That, I mean, I saw that film throughout the time we were editing. Oh gosh. So uh, a thousand times? I it, Honestly, yes. Um, and every time I had to watch it, I, I just cringed because it was like, I just didn't want to watch it anymore. And when I sat in that theater, and I watched it with all of my ladies who came from all over the country and some as far away as India. Yep. It was, it was surreal. It was magical. It was like, I couldn't even, I can't articulate it really, how incredible it was to sit in that theater with all of those ladies. And there were quite a few men there too supporting us, supporting the movement, supporting the right, my gosh, who cares what color a woman's hair is, but so many people do. Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, because I got to make a movie, but unfortunately so many women are, oh, it's terrible what goes on, the negative feedback, but slowly that's changing. In any event, I digress as usual. <laughs> So to be in that theater with all those women and just the support, it was palpable. It was incredible. And that is why seeing it in the theater with your tribe is an experience and it should not be missed. So with all that in mind, we need for each screening, whether it's here in Los Angeles, New York City, Chicago, or some small town in America, at least six weeks, preferably eight weeks, to build the momentum and get the people interested in and even knowing about the event. So at the minimum six weeks, I prefer eight weeks. So obviously, if it was July 15th, that's just five weeks away. I mean, can you believe that? Five weeks away? So there's no way July 15th is gonna happen. 
and I will reserve saying, well, let's set up another date. I'm thinking the fall, September, let's see, because if we want to have it in September, that's 19 or 18, 18 cities throughout the US, that means July, mid to late July is when we would need to start promoting it. And each city has an event host. So me and that event host, we work closely together to market and basically to get the seats sold. We gotta let people know that this is happening in that particular city. Um, so at this point, it's postponed until, I don't know but I did want to let everyone know who had already reserved seats for that first May 6th date. And by the way, all it was was a reservation. There was no money taken from your account. And if you go back and you look at your statement, you will see you were never charged. And that's the way this works. I work with a company called Gather. They basically facilitate the logistics of it. And all I have to do is fill the seats, but they don't confirm the date until enough seats have been reserved. So we had just started. We had only been, I'd only been talking about it for about a week when kind of things started to really become very clear. No, we were actually going to have to hunker down and stay home and there would be no movie theaters, no restaurants, no no nails, no hair. So I wanted to give this update and just let you know what was going on and that in fact, July 15th is not gonna happen. We will just kind of wait and see and I'm crossing my fingers for September. So let's see. All right, that's it my lovelies. And until next time, and ciao for now.